to present about Newton's law. The title we choose is Newton's Day, the physics behind every move. We are from SMK San Bernice Convent. I'm Sangwe Rajaram and these are my teammates. Hi, I'm Jenny Alexander. Hello, I'm Ashley Gleason. Hello, I'm Tulisi Ganese. Yo, I'm Suleika Junadun. We are the Newtonians! Do you know what is physics? According to Sir Isaac Newton, physics isn't expressed in one single sentence, but we can understand it through his work. So who is Sir Isaac Newton? Sir Isaac Newton is a professor, mathematician, author, and he has also been a warden of the Royal Mint. One of his most popular contributions in physics is the Newton's Law of Motion. There are four laws in total. The first law is law of inertia. Second law is force and motion. Third law is momentum. And the final law is law of universal gravitation. One of his groundbreaking books, Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, published in 1687, which basically just means mathematical principle in natural philosophy. First law, inertia. Inertia is a natural tendency of an object in motion stays in motion. Newton's first law says that an object at rest stays in rest. An object in motion stays in motion unless act on by external force. What does it mean? Imagine a ball on the floor, it will move by itself? No, it will stay on the floor unless someone kicks it. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting upon it and inversely proportional to its mass. Mathematically, it's written as F equal to M times A. In simple terms, if you push something, it will move. Push harder, it moves faster. The heavier it is, the harder you have to push to make it move. Impulse is the effect of a force acting on an object. It tells first how much the momentum of an object change. The formula we use to calculate the impulse is F equals to mv minus mu. The longer the force acts, the greater the impulse. Impulsive force is a large force that acts on an object for a very short time. It usually occurs during collision or sudden impact. The formula of calculation of impulsive force is F equals to mv minus mu over t. The definition of Newton's universal law of gravitation is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. The formula that we use to calculate the gravitational force is F equals to G times M1 times M2 over R squared where F equals to gravitational force, G equals to gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11, and M square per kg square. M1 equals to mass of the first object. M2 equals to mass of the second object. R equals to the distance between two objects in meter. Characteristic of the gravitational forces, gravity is always attractive. It pulls masses together, but never pushes them apart. Secondly, it applies to all objects with mass in the universe, no matter how big or small. We use gravitational force to explain orbits of the planets around the sun and moon around the planets. The second one, to calculate the weight of the objects in the universe. Why is physics important in our lives? Physics is important to explain the natural world for foundation of technology, driving innovation, shaping daily life, addressing global challenges, and it's essential for other sciences. It's a wrap!